the etymology of the word Catholic, along with some other interesting finds, may reveal the esoteric feline solar mystery school origins of the Catholic Church. The word Catholic is made up of two root words, cat and holos, cat meaning feline or cat, while holos refers to whole or all in Greek, and hulu means all in Ethiopic as well. So we get cat holistic, or the cat is all from Catholic. Ra, the sun and solar force, have been associated with lions and cats since ancient times in Egypt and many other indigenous cultures. Interestingly, we find in the Egyptian litany of Ra, in one of his 75 forms attributes, the name, the one of the cat, and also the great cat. Considering that the greatest sum is all or whole, the term can also have the same meaning as Catholic. This would seem quite arbitrary if there were not lion sphinxes in the Vatican Catholic Church Courtyard and Museum. Yet there are Egyptian mystery school cats represented in the heart of the church. Even the word cathedral supports the theory. This could be a secret code referring to the cat head or face. Cathedral is made up of cat and hedra. Hedra is referring to sacred geometry as in octahedron, tetrahedron, and so forth. The cat head, along with all natural creation, contains sacred geometric codes, one being the golden mean. Cathedrals were also built according to sacred geometry and the golden mean. In Egypt, the word kuti, which has oddly similar consonants, Sounds as cat refers to the children of Asar, Aset, or the descendants of Heru. It means the solar race as well. The Sphinx cat in Kemet, Tamare, is called Herukuti, making the Kuti connection with the cat more definite. Aset Isis, or the oldest great mother, is called Kut, as the giver of light, and also Ket. Once again, a striking similarity with the word cat. A lion represents the letter L in hieroglyphics, which forms a 90-degree angle, which is 9. L also means light. It has been plausibly suggested also that puss and pussy is derived from Aset Isis and her form is posht, poset. Pasht is an alternative form of Bast. Bast or Bastet is the Kemet goddess represented with the cat head. Her attributes are contentment, internal happiness, and joy. The Grand Ennead, nine times unity, group of nine Necheru gods goddesses also has the name Bast in Egypt. The nine realms of the universe are manifested in the cat according to Kemetic ideology, and this is where we get the cat's nine lives from today. The ferocious form of Bast is Sekhmet. She has an alternate name, Petisachmis, that is similar to Peter, who Jesus said he would build his church on. More on that momentarily. Sekhmet is the wild aspect of the cat the heat of passion. Being that her head is of a male lion, she is linked with the solar ray force as well. At times, she has even been depicted with a phallus. The etymology of the word feline is phallus, which has a concrete phonetic link with phallus. The one trinity that Sekhmet is associated with in Kemet is Ptah Sekhmet Nefertum. Nefertum represents being born again, for he is born new each day from the lotus. This is in line with Christian doctrine of being born again daily for Christ. And more important in this discussion is Ptah. This word brings us back to the word Peter, whom the Catholic Church claimed was the first pope. The word Peter has been a synonym with penis for a long time. 
Petra, meaning rock, was the name of phallic stones representing the Petr, or father, energy. Petra was an ancient Egyptian name of Ra as lord of the phallus. Once again, let's remember that feline comes from phallus. The word line in feline is reminiscent of a phallus symbol as well. The obelisk is certainly a phallic symbol, and it appears no coincidence that the Catholic Church also has Egyptian obelisks within its courtyard at the Vatican Roman Empire. Alexander the Great, the main individual responsible for the rise of the Roman Empire, was represented by a lion in the hieroglyphic spelling of his name while acting as pharaoh in Egypt. The medieval artist Barocchio perhaps was privy to the esoteric history of the cat holistic church when he painted Madonna del Gato. It clearly shows Mari, Isis, pointing at the cat while cradling the newborn solar Christ seed. Was this a clue painted to subtly show for all who can see the lineage of feline solar phallic cult being continued through present-day religious iconography? Biblically, in Revelations 5.5, 5, it refers to the Lion of Judah, once again linking Christianity with thousands of years of the cat mystery school. In Ethiopia, the first and oldest Christian nation, lions bedecked the national flag and were represented throughout the country as it is the national emblem of one of the oldest known nations of the earth. The word Christ and cross come from kras or karast in Egypt, meaning an oil-anointed mummy. Thousands of cats were mummified in Egypt. Mummification was in intended to assist one during physical transformation to enter the stargate for interdimensional travel. The word gate is closely related to gato, the Latin word for cat. The cross has always been a symbol for the stargate or bridge between worlds, and X, which is a cross, is another symbol for Christ as seen in the word Xmas for Christmas. One lesser known names of Jesus is Yehoshua ben Pantera, or Jesus, son of the panther. Pantera Leo also means lion in Latin. Traditions that venerate the cat and feline energy are found far and wide from time immemorial. In India, we find Narasimha, the fourth incarnation of Vishnu, who is a man lion. Also, the mother goddess Durga rides on a tiger or a lion, and Shiva uses tiger skin as garments. Many of the first Christians used as their places of worship and congregation the subterranean temples of Mithras under the city of Rome. To this day, secret rites are said to be performed under Rome in the present-day home of the Roman Empire in Vatican City. Mithras is the Zen title for the sun. Its symbols and ceremonies descend from an esoteric Persian rite of Zarathustra, the fire magi. Candidates who successfully pass the Mithraic initiation are called lions and marked with an ankh upon the forehead. Mithras is another version of the lion man. He is most often pictured with the head of a lion. The myth word is associated with math, and we can also see the word meter and metric along with ras meaning head. And the mitre or Catholic headdress comes from the word mitras, the lion man, as well. The word myth almost insinuates that one ought to apply certain math principles to the mythological stories to discover the hidden truths. Some stories related to Mithras are overwhelmingly similar to Christianity. The legends of the shepherds bringing gifts of adoration, the flood, the ark, holy water, communion, doctrine of heaven and hell, last judgment, immortality of the soul, resurrection of the flesh, atoning sacrifice, and salvation are all shared in common of both cults. Mithras, the lion sun god, was said to be born to sacrifice himself. For all mankind, that with his death all men may attain eternal life. And lastly, 
his resurrection and saving of all humanity through intercession before the throne of the Father. Although this is just a summary and the exoteric side of their concepts as opposed to the deeper hidden meanings, this is much like Catholicism, realizing that the Vatican and Catholic church and cathedrals are built above and within the ruins of old Roman Mithras lion catacombs, the Holy Mother cat connections with Catholicism become clearer. Jaguar and leopards are held sacred in the Maya and Olmec traditions. The jaguar in Maya is one of the most important totem animals in Central America. He is the earth lord personified and darkness is his domain. The hidden son of the night was thought of as a jaguar whose spots symbolized the stars glittering in the night sky. The jaguar sun was the invisible sun, traveling through the underworld in its jaguar cloak. Jaguars considered lord and master of the dark. Almost everyone knows the game Cat's Cradle. It's been played by Eskimos and by natives of the Congo for over thousands of years, as well as all over the globe. The word cradle in this conversation is significant considering the Christ manger away in the cradle story. The formations that the string makes while playing are also important. Many sacred geometric formations resembling Metatron's cube are produced along with mudras or hand gestures known to stimulate reflexology points and meridians of chi flow in the body. The word cat in this game may refer back to kuti, meaning light or gate, and gato for the patterns could very well symbolize stargates or light energy webbing in the energy body. In the Masonic rites, tracing all the way back to Egypt and the Proto-Saharan region, there is a special grip called the lion's paw that was said to raise the initiatory candidate from the long-buried sepulture of substance unto eternal light and entitle the new builder to the wages of an initiate. In Old English, the translation for cat is guttas. In Polish, it's cut. Armenian, guts. Spanish, gato, and many similar pronunciations in different cultures. All these words have a phonetic similarity with the word God. It's also interesting that the word El Leon means the lion in Spanish, a Moorish Latin language, and El Leon means the Most High God in Hebrew. A great deal of cultures use the sound cats make to denote the cat name. In Egypt, cats were called Mait, with the feminine form being Mao. Mao and Mil are the name for cat in China. In Sanskrit, we have the term Margaras for cat. The Hao Hao or Mongolian Asiatic name for cat is Moor, another spelling of Moor. In fact, it's been said that the word Mason and Moor originate from these variant names of the cat. Mason coming to mean son of Ma or son of the cat goddess. The importance of the lion's paw in masonry may certainly lend this theory some credence. The original Moors or Moors were part of the Proto-Saharan civilization called the Ma Confederation, dating back over 26,000 years when the Sahara Desert was a flourishing land. It is also possible to hypothesize from recent artifactual findings that this civilization worshipped one divine mother who was often represented as a cat or Sekhmet-like being. Ma Confederation as they loosely call themselves, may have been a people who esteemed the cat on high, amongst other animal totem symbols that represent attributes and aspects of source energy. Latin has been the official language of the Catholic Church for a long time now. Latin was said to originate in Rome, but even the Romans and Greeks in old manuscripts attest to the fact that their languages were given to them by Tehuti, 
thought Hermes from Egypt. The Greeks and Romans could not learn the glyphs and pronunciations properly, and new systems were created in order for civics and culture to be spread to the Mediterranean. This could mean that to this day, the Catholic Church is using Egyptian-like chants and similar tones shared by Tehudi or initiates representing him as they carry Mass on in Latin. It has been proposed that in the high astral level, there is an etheric race of lion beings who are gold, have wings, and violet eyes. They are called the Ari, which is also the word for lion in Hebrew. There is said to be a planet in orbit around Sirius A called Kiroti. According to the story, the beings that inhabit Kiroti were generated by mixing Syrian genetics with the energy of the Ari, lion beings. The story further explains how this Kiroti genetics was mixed with human and wild lion DNA to create the common house cat. The cat was given to every home in Egypt and programmed to leave during the evening hours to report back to their alien controllers. This synopsis also says that the Sphinx, or Herukuti monument, was made by the Syrians to remind us of the blending of human DNA with the lion frequency. This system that was to energetically bind future civilization to Sirius. The Sphinx was designed to face the morning star Sirius A daily. The elaborate ceremonies and rites of the Catholic Church seem to have sprung up overnight out of nowhere. The incense, candles, communion, chants, and rosary, along with most of the beliefs, were all a part of the old Mithraic lion god religion, which were celebrated under the city of Rome in hidden caverns and catacombs or cat tombs, and at the exact location of Vatican City. Did Jesus institute all these practices? Were they picked up along the way by Christians worshiping in the abandoned lion god temples by coincidence? Is the ancient cat Mur Baset science being used by the holy cat catholic church in a perverted way for exploitive purposes? Could there be a secret hidden cat tradition that can be traced back many thousands of years in history which is connected to present day mystery schools? Does the cat got your tongue?